Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back. Let's play Infamous on the Sony PlayStation 3. The last time, we pushed the train. Literally, we did. We used our lighting powers, and we pushed the train for the good of the people. And today, we're going to go do more side quests. Yeah. I've always wanted to be a conductor, and last episode, my dream came true. What can I say? Maybe not quite in the way that I was expecting, but you know. I'll take it. Uh, is there anything over here to grab just while we're here? Okay, there is. That way we don't gotta come back here as much later on. And of course they'd put it directly over my death. Oh! Cole, get your... How about you don't jump directly into the water, you bastard? Okay. Luckily, we should be able to train our way over there pretty fast and preferably go the right way. Again, stay on the right side of the track, otherwise you will get uh, beat up by a train like that guy. Yeah, even if you're on the right side, uh, you're still not going to beat the train, unfortunately. It's still the fastest way to travel, whether you want to admit it or not. Okay, let's try not to get electrocuted over here. I think this is where we were. Yeah, okay. So there's the blast shard right over there. We have one more good mission to do. It seems like the evil missions are slightly more abundant, at least uh, so far. There you go. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Doesn't appear to be any dead drops nearby, so we're good at the moment. And I see our other blast shard that we're looking at. Um, I hear the train, I don't see the train. And if I seem paranoid about the trains, it's because I'm doing my usual thing of while I'm playing a game, in my off time, I'll watch somebody else play a game up to the point where I'm at. Uh, and the guy that I'm watching play it, his name is Lamora, L-A-M-O-U-R-A, -A, and he did it a couple years ago, except he did an evil playthrough, and he got bodied by the train a couple times. He just, uh, wasn't paying attention, and a couple times, they just knocked him off the, the tracks once or twice. So, yeah. I tried to not follow his example there. Yeah, he was able to get all his evil missions done pretty fast. Okay, I hear a exploding dude. Ah, damn it. Those explosions have pretty good range. Okay, come here. Got him. Okay, who else? Uh, you. You snuck up behind me, you bastard. See, okay, we had the R1 down there, uh, but he got back up. So I guess it's... I guess if you're real fast, you can... Uh, what is it? You can put it back on the ground, or not put it back on the ground, uh, lock him up on the ground real fast, but you have to be like really quick about it. At least that's what it seems like. Did we ever even get the shard that we came here for? I don't think we did. You know what? Screw it. We're good. We'll live. Oh, it's right there. And by right there, I mean way the heck up top. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? News today of a daring raid that freed several hundred prisoners from the clutches of the Reaper Street Gang. A small group of commandos dropped into Empire City and stormed a train that the Reapers were using as a makeshift prison. After a brief firefight, the prisoners were freed and the remaining Reaper Gang members were taken into custody. This is but the latest step in the government's aggressive effort to restore order in Empire City. Did they say a small group of people came in and did it? If by small you mean one person, a.k.a. me, yeah, that'd be fucking right. So, lady, let's get that investigative journalism reporting, you know, on point there. Because, as it is, you are attempting to slander my not-good name that I want to be, you know, kind of good, which is why I'm not killing anybody. 
Uh, shard, 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 where are you at? Oh, I almost got killed by the train right there, too. See? That's what happens when you don't pay attention. You almost get... You almost get sideswiped. Okay, where are you at? Oh, you're right way up there. Okay. So as you can see, while the trains are fast, the safer way, albeit not as good, is the wires up there because they're not going to kill you. I mean, there might be reapers nearby, but for the most part, you're probably safer on the wires. I probably, I mean, definitely. Okay, we should be close to the mission, right? That's right. I never actually, I never actually got around to doing that stupid um, satellite uplink, did I? Oops, that was an accident. I think I, I think I just ended up getting distracted too much. Uh, anybody trying to kill me around here? No. Okay, that's great. Any? We're close to a dead drop. It seems like. Let's grab that real fast. Where is this dead drop? Okay, apparently a little farther away than I thought. Yeah, okay. Uh, you're up there. Let's grab you. Just for shits and giggles. Okay, uh, at any point you want to, you know... I mean, aim, that'd be great. Okay, that works. Not probably what I was going for, but I'll take it. Okay, uh... Yeah, I think our dead drop is over here. Where is our little satellite dude? Ah, oh, there it is. Change in assignment. I'm now tasked with protecting a woman named Sasha. She's supposedly researching mind control techniques. Something with a spray or a gel. My gut tells me she's a honeypot, so I'll need to be careful around her. Honeypot? Uh, if by honeypot you mean like, uh, like the flower? Is that a type of flower? Kind of like the flytrap? Where it has like a sweet smelling nectar and then flies get into it and then they just kind of like die because you know it eats them because carnivorous plants, why not? I think that might be what they're referring to. I could be wrong. I usually am. It's okay. Okay, uh, let's get back to that mission that I keep getting distracted by. I was trying to go for the the wire there, but that didn't work out so well. All right, uh, Reaper free, I think. Ah, right, there we go. Let's do it. Bystander. Reapers keep attacking the police station down the street. Help them. All right, let's do it. Uh, you feel free to stay out of the way, please. Looks like they're really beating the hell out of each other. I could jump in now and help them, or I can sit back and let them fight it out, deal with whoever's left. Yeah, let's just go ahead and nuke them, because why not? Got it. I thought I, I thought that grenade hit him. I thought that was going to be a sticky, sticky grenade, but apparently I was mistaken. Okay, fuck off, guard. You're in the way. There you go. Uh, let's see, who else? Here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and put these, uh, electro blades to use. Because, why not? Come here. Oh, come here, you fat bastard.
Get out of Jeez, that fat fucker ran really far. Jeez, guy. Just sit there and take your beat down like a man. Okay, police station rescued. I don't know what the point of the police station being rescued actually does, but I'm assuming it's, you know, decent for us. You wanna grab the light there, Cole? Thanks. Thanks, man. You saved the station. Okay, and in exchange, I'd like your buddies to not try to, you know, shoot me anymore. In future missions, that'd be great. Alright, so next mission is the green one. So that is, what is it? Fan Club, that sounds awesome. Actually, I think I remember that one. That one might be, uh, what is it? There's a generic one that's, that I might be thinking of instead, but I, that one might be something where they tell you to do like various of your moves like your grenade or your shockwave or something and then they take pictures of them and it's real easy or of course this might be something else I don't know I don't know okay there is a shard and a blast core or a dead drop so let's grab these Where is this dead drop? That way. Okay. Goodbye. Sticky bomb. Beautiful. I'll take it. And I see one more if I can find him on the map. I see him on the map. I can't see him on the street. Oh, there you are. You got him? And a nice little shock to the heart. Fantastic. Okay, uh, while we're here, there is a blast shard. I believe that one might be like up here somewhere, and that's gonna be a pain in the dick to grab. Or you know, this guy could bother me. What part of area clear do you not understand, dude? Okay, so where is this blast shard? I know there are a couple that are hidden like on top of like big ass structures like that to make it a real pain in the ass to try to find. And this one might be one of them. But it's not being very friendly like with showing me here. Are you gonna grab onto that or no? No you're not. It's saying it's like right here, so I don't know where this thing's hiding at. Oh, there we go. Now let's see if we can find it. Yeah, there we go. Nice and pain in the ass to grab. Thanks, game. I appreciate that. Audio recording of Kessler follows. Test subject number 345A is exhibiting remarkable signs of progress. The pituitary region of the brain has grown by 39%, and small muscle regeneration is nearly instantaneous. I do have some concerns with the lack of proper blood flow to the lower extremities. Oxygen absorption in those areas is off by 3.6%. A rather substantial decrease that could impact the subject's performance. We'll need to perform more tests. Okay, there's another dead drop around here, too, so let's grab that. Find it, that is. Uh, 
Let's see, it should be around here. Okay, there it is. Background information. The origin of the first suns dates back to medieval Europe. Exact date unknown. Because they were viewed as witches or in league with the devil, they were forced to flee to the new world in the 17th century. Once settled in America, the group continued their meetings and experience, focusing on telekinesis, precognition, and channeling. This is probably apocryphal, but current members claim responsibility for what happened in Salem in 1692 and 93, and use those events to validate their mentalist abilities. Okay, so people have had powers in this universe for some time. Wow. Like, obviously, some of the people that are saying, hey, uh, our particular group was responsible for, you know, all the witch burnings and stuff, they might be a bit kind of loco, but it seems like powers are actually documented a pretty fair way back. So that's good to know. Then again, they might have just been, like, random mutations, like X-Men or some something like that. And then the race spear is, like, one of the first uh, attempts to actually just say, hey, I want this guy to have powers uh, instead of this guy just has powers. It's like the first way to actually make sure that somebody that you want has the powers instead of just some random dude. Then again, in this case, I guess Cole is kind of a random dude. I'm not going to worry about you guys as much. Ooh, sticky. Perfect. Okay, I'll take it. I wasn't going to worry about you, but since you want to, that's fine. I'll take it. Alright, we need to get to that green. And by green, I mean the last shards, if there are two of right here. So why not? You guys are not doing a very good job of not being in the area. But again, this is probably one of the areas that's not cleared, so fair enough. Okay, that is less fair. Who's shooting me with a truck? Oh, you. You're way the heck over there, dude. Right? Or am I seeing somebody else? No, it's that frickin' truck. I think, it, I think even if we kill the truck, he's just gonna come back. Alright, I am gonna kill you, just so you know. Truck is gonna die. There you go. And then you. Sorry, we're gonna use these. There you go. Ooh, nice. That worked out pretty good. And perfect. Actually, it seemed like it was only like one hit, really. And I died. Damn it. Well, I got some experience out of it. And we are yeah, close enough to the mission. Does the blades really only last for like one hit? Because that's kind of what it looks like. And if it does, then that's kind of not all that great. And if it is the case, then I'm probably not going to spend too much more experience points on it. Okay, this is... That's going to be a pain to get. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we gotta figure out how to get on top of this thing and drop down in order to get that blast shard, because that is an extra bastard placement. Okay, get down, Colt. There you go. Alright, let's grab onto the stuff from the outside. There you go, I knew you could do it. Actually, I wasn't sure if you could do it, since sometimes you're not the brightest. But, you know, we try. I wanna go... This way, I think. Yeah. You know, let's actually do this. Let's actually place a waypoint here. That way I know where I'm going. There you go. And then just follow the purple map. There you go. That'll make life much easier. Okay, I see it. It's right there. The blast shard and the mission, so that's great. Come on, get over there. There you go. 
and another blast shard. Probably at the top here, we got another uh, battery core. Awesome. And we need 34 more, so not too bad, really. Alright, who am I looking for? You? Fan Club! A group of people are marching through the streets in a kind of protest. They're trying to send a signal to the Reapers that the people are on your side. I'm sure the Reapers appreciate that. I've got some men over there, but in case something goes wrong, I'd like you there, too. Don't let anything happen to the people marching. I'm going, I'm going. Give me a second. Hang on. Before I rescue them, I gotta find this blast shard. You know the blast shard to wait. Alright, there's gonna be Reapers. Where you at? So this is not the one that I was thinking of. Uh, the taking pictures one. Like, not in the slightest. Not seeing anybody on the mini map here trying to kill me yet, so that's fine. Anybody? Oh, we got a nice little collection of people joining us. So it's like we're gonna have a nice little parade here. Okay, calm down, dudes. Where are you at? Jeez, you guys fucking came out of nowhere, like literally. Okay, fuck. You guys just came out of nowhere, literally. I wonder if it's based on the parade or me showing up. So, you know, let me go forward a little bit here and see if anybody decides to show up and, you know, murder me. No, it looks like it was the parade showing up. Okay, guys, feel free to come on out and let me kill you now. I mean, people are going to die here, that's guaranteed. Okay, got you. Very nice. Uh, I see you over there. Come here. They got one of them. Okay, I need something to drain because... Jeez, these guys are fucking lighting me up. I think somebody has like a submachine gun or some shit because that is just murdering me repeatedly. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Okay, we're here. Let's grab this uh, shard. Is it in a tree? I don't know why it would be in a tree, but apparently it is. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and get preemptive here. Let's go ahead and... Get up high grounds. There we go. Alright. Who wants to come out? Who wants to die? Somebody? Anybody? The problem is, these guys kind of show up out of nowhere, and I can't... Like, I have no idea where they're actually showing up at here. Okay, stop it. Camera, work with me. Okay, fuck. <clears throat> they literally teleport in the middle of fucking nowhere, and it's kind of impossible to find them. Okay, this is actually a really tough mission here. And my vantage point from the, uh... The light there didn't seem to work out so well since the light just kind of got on the way. Okay, let's try a different vantage point. Okay, I know where a couple of them spawn. And it looks like you can't avoid the the convoy being blown up, so you have to deal with that. Like, it's just going to happen no matter what. But I'm pretty sure they spawn, like, right over there. So, let's... Yeah. Let's stand, like, right here so we can see them. Like, somebody's going to end up, like, right here, I think. Oh, they're on the roof. Okay. Uh, now where'd you guys spawn? Okay, I see you over there. Come here. Okay, got one of them. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Okay, got you. Uh, who else? Every fuck. Okay, out of the way. 
the corpses are in my way and it's not working out terribly well for me. Okay, got a couple of them down. Beautiful. I don't care about actually your straining you at the moment. I care about killing your corpses. Where are you guys at? You're up there somewhere, right? Yeah. Uh. What the fuck are you? They got you. Die, dude. You're taking like 9 million volts of electricity. Just die. Okay, where is this last guy? He's up there somewhere, but he is kind of hard to see at the moment. Alright, fucker. Okay, did I get him? I don't think I did. So where'd you go? There you are. Got him. Okay. That was a royal pain in the ass. And we got another 100 experience. Very nice. And another tick towards our five good missions. I'll take it. No stunts, because that was actually really hard to just stay alive on. Sorry. And we locked out another evil mission. Just saw some people hanging posters up. Got your face plastered all over them. Now that's publicity. That's good stuff right there. Uh, can we get our nice work, missions back? I'll be in touch. Okay, good. We got our missions back. Uh, this is our next mission, Satellite Uplinks. I actually want to make sure to actually do this one instead of, you know, ignore it like I've managed to be doing previously. I don't think there's a quick way to get over there at the moment, unfortunately. Yeah, see, now that we're popular, or everyone, uh, good, everyone's, like, taking pictures and asking for autographs, and we're just too cool, I guess. Cool, cool strikes again, I guess. Okay, I see a shard on the map. Where are you hiding at, dude? You're gonna be up there, aren't you? I already know you are. So let's just get up there, I guess. Traveling Grandfather Clock Museum. That actually sounds kind of cool. Uh, what does that say? Uh, something Spring Fair. Okay, camera. Camera. Camera, you suck. Empire Spring Fair. Okay. Like, I guess if you like Grandfather Clocks, that'd be actually a really cool little traveling thing to go check out. I mean, it sounds neat enough. Even if you don't like Grandfather Clocks. It's a nice little concept at the very least. Okay, satellite uplinks. You should be around here somewhere. Okay, I thought I saw a dead drop, but apparently not, so we're good at the moment. Okay, got that. Somebody is shooting me. Are you up high or down low? Where are you at? I don't know where you went. Push these down, or do I have to? No, it looks like you have to shoot them. What about the? Okay, the electric thing works. Okay, that actually did more than one hit, so that was nice. But for some reason, it seemed to like disappear right away earlier. Yeah, Adam. Uh, There's a lot of dudes here. Not quite what I'm going for, actually. Got him. Okay, yeah, it seems like it's a one-hit kill almost, or close to it, and then it just disappears. Okay, and it uses three energy, so it's a very, a fairly tolerable energy drain if you're not careful. Uh, you know, this is the part that doesn't have any electricity, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and just actually get to our destination, not die, and, you know, be done here. Because that sounds like a good idea. Okay, so apparently Gigawatt Blades is not as good as I was hoping. Okay, I don't know if this right here is powered, so let me see. Okay. Yeah, see, it's not powered, so we're not sliding on it, and we're not going to gain the uh, the health and stuff. So you got to be careful there. Goodbye. Okay. 
Blast Shard, you can wait. I'm not terribly worried about you at the moment. I am terribly worried about getting to this damn mission. Main or otherwise, it really. Okay, up, 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 up. And almost the way. Who is shooting at you? You and your fucking sniper training. There you go, got it. And there's another dude, but he's way back over there, I think. Uh, what about you? I see someone down here. Oh, is it you? Got it. Okay, uh, let's see. We're at the purple thing. Isn't there another one of those that I was trying to knock down? No? Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab our dead drop, and, or not a dead drop, our mission, and actually get started this time. Uh, I'm going to ignore the TV, because I don't care. Alright, main drain, and we gotta go towards the lights. Where are you guys at? Okay, you guys are over there. But yeah, uh, I think these would be easier now, since we have the, the ability to just glide off the power lines. So, for the most part, they're gonna put them in a reasonably easy easy way to grab the, the power thingies here. If I don't fuck up like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna retry that, because I went to the wrong rooftop there. But yeah, it's gonna make it way easier just to grab the stuff, get going. Okay. So grab that and Okay, over there. Perfect. And if you're lucky you might find a couple dead drops along the way every once in a while. Yeah, it makes it real fast to get over here instead of just running. And you always keep it full health. So, again, really nice. Come on, go. There yeah, you go, we're proud of you. Okay, the next one over there. Little off to the side from the cable, but I think we'll live. Awesome. And then another one. I think that should be the last one close to it. Nope, not even close. Sometimes you get really short ones that are only like three satellites, and then sometimes you get ones like this that are like six. So it's just the luck of the draw, I guess. And there we go. Perfect. No stunts, but the enemies are gone. I'll take it. And it looks like that will do it for this episode. Next time, we'll go ahead and take on the next story mission. Now this is just ridiculous. You clean up a neighborhood, and everybody takes to the streets a dancing and a strutting. I try and tell them I'm your right hand man, but do they care? No. I gotta give me some powers, man. So guys, thank you for watching. Seek, thank you for that last bit of commentary, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.